A very good morning to you on this beautiful Wednesday morning. I just had to calm the dogs down. I, I'm looking after somebody else's little, well, he's, Teddy's not a puppy anymore, but um, <laughs> they've been just like running around crazy. How are we all doing? Um, we're going to be doing double drop peyote stitch today. I've got so many different colors to show you. We've been really busy to make up the little swatches. Um, I really do love this stitch. i got all the colors so I can show you you how to like you can I can show whatever color you like oh then <laughs> Lucy just came in so that off they go again the tail wagging and the running around bless them thank you very much you just bought me a coffee oh so thank you so much hon. I haven't had a coffee yet today so it's my first coffee good morning David Janice good morning um good morning Lucy give me a good morning the bracelets are absolutely gorgeous i love them too so i do i really do love um a double drop pot and there is so much you can do with this so how, the way how i put the kids together this time and i got one which is sort of fully made up and i got like little spotches to show you so the way how i made up we're going to be using pearls and we're going to be using crystals on there as well so you can either make a bracelet with just pearls or make a bracelet with just crystals or make a bracelet with a, a mixture and i show you on the samples you can do so many different patterns um how you put the pearls and the crystals together um it's they are really really great so let's go because you've got so many colors to look at let's go straight down onto the mat and then i'll show you them one by one I got some of them on cards <laughs> and some of them you got just sort of ends tangling in here so you have to bear with me right let's zoom this in and then we are ready to go down on the mat now i'm going to pull up the website so by now you know what to do you go to totallybeads.co.uk learn to make jewelry jewelry making button at the top which is brand new it's so easier to get here then you go into video tutorials and today is the dahlia double drop beauty flat and crystal <laughs> per bracelet um so we got um eight twelve 60 17 colors <laughs> 17 colors the 11.99 each each kit will make you two bracelets and you we got a fantastic offer of two for 20 on today so i'm going to go by the colors i'm going to show you the colors in real life how they on the website <laughs> i'm just quickly gonna let me just show you the website just sort of peek onto the website there we go so totallybeads.co.uk um dahlia bracelet and i'm gonna just scroll down for you we got plenty of different colors oh i would just i just spend like i can't like this is this is my thing you know putting colors together i can't just have three or five or six <laughs> i have to have like 16. so i'm just gonna pop into one of them and then um you can oh i didn't realize this feature this zooming in feature of the like my mouse just ended on a picture but that's really great so you get two strands of four millimeter glass purse two strand of crystals and um, two bags of size 11 tahu seed beads and toggle clasps as well so okay so it makes two there is three toggle clasps in there but uh um it's depending on the size because like i do have chunk of wristers you know and i always measure everything up to my size but i'm going to just step back and i'm going to show you the colors on the mat because i think that will be even better so i'm gonna go back to the camera i'm gonna come down onto the table there we go so we have got the first one is called aqua and it's this one um beautiful aqua color with um aqua pearls and aqua um i think actually the the pearls called cornflower and and I think the crystal's called baby blue. And it's just like here, the, the pearls and the crystals kind of just sort of arranged in a, in a um, like if there is a pattern to it, but um, there's sort of an uneven pattern to it. So you could do that as well. Next one is the black, which is this one. This one, as you can see, sort of the crystals go in a line and the pearls go in another line. Um, again, a very, just, just black. And are you choosing sort of a very dark charcoal gray color? 
um, seed beads for it so you can really see the black pearls and crystals on the top light blue nebula which is this one let me just get on on undo the ends i'm going to end up with so many ends here <laughs> in a second because sometimes we just i just didn't have enough cards to put them all on um i need to bring home some uh, some card material um I cut the cards out myself and it's just really nice to put um, put them on so the ends don't tangle. So this is Blue Nebula. Again, you have got the seed beads are like a really dark blue, a hint of purple, a hint of teal, a hint of maybe even a hint of green in there as well. And then the hematite color crystals and like a um, denim blue color pearls as well and it's kind of sort of all come together the denim blue pearls really stand out on this one i'm just gonna pop it like that hopefully the dogs don't get <laughs> caught up in all the strings i got here next one is blush pink which is which is where is the blush pink am i missing one Oh, I might be missing one sample. Let me just have a look in the tray behind me. And um, that's number 13, where you are, where you are. It's definitely that one with the clear crystals. Oh, there, here. So there we go. Um, I it, on the picture, it slightly looks a little bit different because Scott photographed it on a black background, and I'm looking at the picture and I'm looking at the bracelet here. And I was like, oh no, that that's like a look look, look like it's using grey crystals, but no, it's this one. So it's pink, like a rose pink pearls. And I'm just getting the ends out of the way. There we go. So rose pink pearls and baby pink crystals so these crystals are like very light but still pink and the seed beads i have chosen for it is a luster clear ones as well so kind of because the crystals and the seed beads are kind of similar it really makes the pearls stand out lucy says oh love that i hope you, lucy you said that for the pink because you all know you love pink good morning elaine right okay so next one let me just scroll down so i'll give you the right name is the emerald which is this one so this is your tealy kind of green i really do love this color and i do use this still quite a lot look we got the threads never mind we sort them out so again teal seed beads the pearls are moss green and the crystals are teal so they kind of really make them stand out next to against each other next one is the gold where are you gold right in front of me gold seed beads gold crystals gold pearls again you could do all sorts of different direction with the pattern whichever you wish next one is the ice blue which is this one so we got a very sort of a hint of blue of the seed beads and i have like it's this is a a, a milky color um crystal with it and blue pearls and um, i really do love this one i think this one goes very well with sort of denim in denim -y colors <laughs> if you're wearing jeans because it has that kind of sort of grayish hint to it right next one is the pink lilac which is where is the pink lilac pink lilac have i not got the pink lilac out either what am i doing what am i doing this morning <laughs> what am i doing pink lilac is this one must be yeah then there's this one so pink lilac have got there we go i'm just getting rid of the ends because it's like it's so easy to sort of wrap around at the end that they don't then tangle up in the box but then <laughs> you keep the, uh, like unwrapping and wrapping back in lilac pearls the grape color seed beads and pink ab crystal baby pink ab crystals to on that one 
Next one is, oh, I love this color, this magenta rainbow. There is so many pinkish colors ones today. So this one, you have got uh, autumn rainbow crystals on there. Should I, should I take the end off? I'll take the end off. Autumn rainbow crystal on there. And then you have got the beautiful magenta pearls and the seed beads are pink. So I went for lighter pink, but darker sort of um, pearls and the crystals are in between. They even got like a little bit of a gold tone to them, um, which I really love. I do love, like when you have got a rich pink, I really love um, like golds with rich pink as well. But if you put like two shiny golds with it, sometimes it can be a little bit too much and a little bit more, too much standing out. So something like this, where you have got other colors coming in with the crystals as well, as well I think is just perfect. Right, next one. Next one is Dahlia Bracelet Nude. The nude, nude, nude. Where is the nude? That's the one which we got. Where is the nude? There is the nude. There we go. So many colors. I love it. I really do love. So this one is a salmon pink seed bead. And then the I, Samba Beige. Come on. Some of the beige crystal I have chosen. And again, this is a different pattern because you got the crystals in the middle and you got the pearls on the side. So it's really up to you what sort of pattern you want to make um, with your with your kit because one kit will make you to embrace that. So with this one, um, they're more of, of sort of like a beige color and the pearls are more of a... Um, like a mushroom color next to them and it just comes together so nicely as well it's this one is giving me sort of like a vintage vibes <laughs> if i can say that right next one is tanzanite tanzanite is here tanzanite is another one of my favorite colors and um i do use this color all the time so tanzanite is sort of a grayish purple color the i went for darker crystals here sort of a cool the tone crystal and just sort of a, a beautiful purple pearls as well there again i think this is again good for jeans good for like loads of different stuff because it's a little bit sort of muted color anything when where you got a bit of gray in it i think i just find it sort of it's really elegant and it goes with loads of different things right pastel gray which is that's the pastel gray one so this is the one which we have got made up all the way this this bracelet i do really love this color as well again it's kind of sort of an oystery sort of shelly ne very natural color this one next one and i haven't got too many more now next one is the purple now i have chosen blue crystals i love mixing purple with blue i think that just sort of looks really good they really complement each other and um so i've chosen blue crystals the seed beads are purple and this is the darkest purple pearls we have <laughs> next one is a red plum so here you have got um this is a very interesting combination and when i put this together i kind of sort of went backwards and forwards a couple of times because the seed beads are actually an amethyst color and i have chosen a pearl which is more sort of darker shade in red but it has got a hint of purple in it and the crystals are quite dark as well i think they come up quite much lighter on the camera what they are sort of here in front of me but it's definitely both the pearls and the crystals have got like a little bit of a burgundy color to it so you're matching um, really nicely the amethyst seed beads love the red pumpkin he's saying then he's saying love the red. i don't usually do red and um, so i really wanted to do something um different right silver dust gold he said i'm going to show it to you it says it's out of stock on the um, website but i'm sure simon is going to have a look at what's happening with this one um black diamond seed beads a crystal is gray silver gray and then we got gold pearls this is one of my favorite combinations what i usually um put together next one is silver gray 
this one is very sort of more of a modern looking um, they the seed beads are quite sort of a strong gray color um, when when I say about strong gray color and I show you what's the difference um, I'm just gonna pick another one up so when they are different finishes this one is a color lined finish so you kind of got a little bit of a haze about the seed beads this one I went it's a solid finish so it's very much stands out like really, really, the pattern will really stand out with this one. I would say the pattern will stand out the most with this colorway. So I went for a lighter gray seed beads and then with crystals of silver and dark gray, space gray, they called pearls. And last, <laughs> last but not least, we got teal, which this one is called teal, but actually the other one, which we call emerald, is more sort of a black for me because this is all colors are always up for debate. Because what I say is, is if somebody to see blue, then, then somebody says the X for the exactly same color, they see green. So colors are always like you know up for adaptation. But this one is called teal on the website. For me, this one is more of an azure color. Um, but um, yeah, it's called teal on the website again. I, I really do love, so if I put the other one next to it, so this one is called, I'm just gonna um, pop back to the top to see. So this one is called Emerald, but I think the Emerald is like sort of a little bit more greener. This one is more, a bit more tealer thing to it. This one is called teal, but I think it's more of an azure color because it's got more blue in it, if that makes sense. I hope I hope that makes sense. Right, okay, so let's get started with the demo. Which color, which color shall we demo with? So I am wearing blue today, so I'm gonna demo with blue. Shall we do that? I'm gonna demo with the cornflower blue pearls and crystals. There we go, so I'm just gonna Take some crystals off of the strand and then some pearls and then we'll be ready to go. Right, so you can um, go both ways with this stitch if you wanted to. So you can um, leave your bobbin on and kind of work either way, which I think sometimes is quite good because it's always like when you're trying to add a new... Um, a new thread to it it takes time that's that's it. it's just it just takes time so okay what we're gonna do is um we're gonna start by we're gonna start on one end and let me just grab some thread quickly thread a needle and off we go and actually i'm gonna have to go and grab because i want to show you the how easy is to add the clasp on as well once we meet a little bit of a length it's pattern repeat it is really pattern repeat and you're sort of going backwards and forwards on your on your stitching right there we go right so it doesn't kind of really matter if you start with the crystals or you start with the pearls with the double pot the, the stitch i like to start with the sort of the larger bead because then i kind of like come back on myself before i go into the next um the the, ne the next um row <laughs> i need a sip of my coffee It's early morning. So what sort of pattern shall we do? Shall we do the slanted pattern? Because I really quite like that one. So you're going to start off. I'm going to start off, pick up a crystal, pick up two seed beads. I'm going to pick up a pearl. I'm going to pick up another two seed beads. And then I'm going to pick up a, oops, a crystal again. And then a couple of beads just sort of slid off my needle i always say it's so great to use a straight needle but when you use a straight needle they slid off so much easier so crystal two seed beads crystal pearl two seed beads crystal and then two seed beads this would be one row so this is what we are looking at you you could make your bracelet wider or you could make your bracelet thinner as well it's really it's up to you you could just have like two beads or you could have you could even go up to um four beads as well so this is kind of like one row so we're going to go back 
on our slabs and I could have said like pick up four beads here at the beginning but I like in my slab even if you have to pick up I'm gonna pick up two extra seed beads now and turn around I like to turn pick it up as two and two rather than four because like I'm already kind of like doing the pattern in my head so I'm gonna pick up another two seed beads I'm gonna wrap the end of this on my finger so I can suspend it and hold it for you. So two more seed beads, I'm gonna go back through the crystal. So this is my tail under the top here. I'm gonna go back through the crystal. Then I'm gonna pick up another two seed beads. I'm gonna go back through the pearl. Another two seed beads. And back to the crystal. And I'm going to turn around. Lucy's saying she doesn't see anything out of stock. So they must have fixed it then. <laughs> Let me just refresh the page here as well. I think one of them, um, which was using the black, Simon seed, black, black diamond seed beads. Yeah, it's back in stock. They started to add the gold. Right, so we had a two, two, two seed beads. Now I'm going to turn around. And I, li I personally like to turn my work around. So I would flip my work just like that and I'm stitching away for myself again so again I can see crystals at the end of my bracelet I'm growing it this way so I know I still need to pick up seed beads so I'm going to pick up two seed beads I'm going to jump over this crystal here and just go through two seed beads and I'm going to pick up another two jump over the pearl and then go into the next two seed beads. I'm going to let the end go now. So I've got, I can hold on to it like that. Then I'm going to pick up two seed beads, jump over the crystal and go right to the end. Now what's happening here is that we cannot see, cannot see a crystal or pearl exposed um, on the on the end so all I can see on this row I mean like it goes in and out but all I can see is seed beads so I know it's time to add my larger beads so I'm going to turn around I'm going to pick up a crystal and go through two seed beads I'm going to pick up a pearl and go to the next two seed beads on the top of the pearl And I'm going to pick up a crystal and go through the last two seed beads. There we go. I'm going to turn around again and I'll pull it a little bit tighter. And now I can see crystals and pearls at the end of my beadwork. So I know I'm going to be adding seed beads. So two seed beads through the crystal. Another two seed beads through the pearl another two seed beads through the crystal and then right down to the end I'm ready to turn around so I'm going to turn around once again I can still see pearls and crystals so I know I'm still adding seed beads so I'm going to pick up two seed beads I'm going to jump over this crystal just pull it a bit tighter and go into the seed bead in between, the two seed beads in between. I'm going to pick up another two seed beads, jump over the pearl, and another two seed beads, one, two, and come through this one at the top, these two at the top, and once again I'm ready to turn around. Once I turn around, just pull this a bit tighter so once I turn around I have got once more seed beads all the way down on this edge so I know the next thing I have to add is my um, crystals and pearls so I'm going to pick up a pearl go through the next two seed beads then I'm going to pick up a crystal Go to the next two seed beads, pick up a pearl and go through the last two seed bead. So you kind of, when you see crystals or pearls at the end, you're adding seed beads. 
when you only see seed beads only that's when you add your your crystals and pearls i hope that makes sense but that's how i remember and i'm just going to be going back backwards and forwards adding my seed beads in so i do cheat because i've got quite a long thread here so i pick up the seed beads i go to the pearl and when i get to the and then pick up the seed bead, go to the crystal, pick up the seed bead, go to the pearl. And when I get to the end, that's when I pull it all the way through. There we go. I'm turning around again because I've got pearls and crystals at the end. I know I'm adding seed beads here. One, two. Another two seed beads and sort of row by row you're going to be growing it all the way down and I just love it creates like a ribbon like structure with a smaller and larger beads. I love double drop BOT. There's so many different things you kind of you can do with it. So go to the top. It's only seed beads at the end. Morning Ruth. Morning David. So it's only seed beads at the end so I'm going to turn it around and I know only seed beads, that means I have to add pearls and crystals. So I'm picking up a pearl, going through two seed beads. Now, if you have to, I'm going to go down on this row and I'm going to show you something. So if you feel that your work is a little bit loose at the end of the sort of the row, because sometimes when you're pulling it tighter, you can end up like making the previous low lo row looser, which is kind of like what's been happening here. So what you can do, if you feel your previous row is looser, I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull on the very last bead in the row, which then that will pull the row before in. And then I'm going to pull on the end and hold on to these beads. And that's how I can really tighten it up. Turning around, I can see pearls and crystals at the end. So I know this row is to add seed beads. And that's the way how I kind of always remember this to do it because you adding seed beads twice and then you adding pearls and crystals once. But if you think about it, the pearls and crystals are four millimeter and the seed beads are two millimeters. So they're twice as big um, as the seed beads in either direction so it's kind of like makes sense but that's that's how i remember so if i see see just seed beads at the end then it's the larger beads if i still see larger beads poking out at the end then it's i'm um, adding seed beads let me know in the chat if you've been doing double drop pot and what sort of projects you have done with it so no seed beads at the end so i'm going to be adding my pearls and crystals i'm going to do a few more rows because i want to really want to show how to add the sort of the edging um, as well because you can do also many different things good morning linda nice to see you oh she's from sunny switzerland let us know how's the weather there i mean how warm it is yes it is size 11 seed beads um lucy and then next one is crystal I'm working on a super job here to, oh bless you David is saying send us a picture let us, let us see how does it look like right so two seed beads through the crystal two seed beads to the pearl and all the way up and down so I'm just gonna Come and check if I missed any comments. If you got any question, please pop a Q in front of your question so I know it's for me. I'm just going to go up and down stitching a few more rows so we got something to kind of decorate on the side. And then I show you how to just say morning of late. Oh no, you are coming over size of the beads, seed beads. Yes, size 11. Size 11 the using. So kind of like the seed bead bead ratio. So if you want it to go up in size, like you want to use size eight seed beads because that's what you got. So they approximately three millimeter. So you would have you would have to use size eight with six millimeter beads. If you go down in size and you want to use size 15s, then you want to go down in size of the pearls and crystals as well to three millimeter as well. So this can be done in all sorts of different sizes of seed beads, as long as you go up and down with the number of 
beads in between. The, the, the size is not number. The size is of beads in between. Oh God, what happening this morning? I don't know where's my brain. Oh, that's daddy. <laughs> daddy can hear somebody moving about, bless. He's so cute. He and Roxy are so cute. He's a little bit older. He's a little cavapoo. And um, obviously Roxy just wants affection and love and and um, he's just having none of it. Sometimes he will play with it, but sometimes he will have none of it. And I just laugh so much because Roxy's goes up and like, oh, they're just, they're just hilarious, really. The other night I was having one on one side and the other one on the other side, <laughs> stroking both of them at the same time, watching TV on the sofa. It was so funny. Bless them. But um, Teddy's definitely... He can open doors. <laughs> he can, even if the door is shut, he can open it. Bless him. So I'm, I'm sure he's teaching Roxy all the good tricks. But um, she should know. Right, so I'm pulling this up. Maybe a couple more rows. I had fun making. Yes, we've done it with cube, cubes before as well. There's so many different materials you could do. Um, and it's such an easy stitch. I really do love it. Um, for me, like it's like a no-brainer stitch as well. And sometimes the simpler things are, easier to make, the the better they look. And this is this is this. I love POT anyway, but I think it, this is just make it like a little bit more special. And, and you're still doing the same thing. And because you're including the larger beads, it's kind of grows quite quick. Now, if you don't want to flip backwards and forwards, you could just sort of hold on and come back on yourself. If you like sort of comfortable stitching backwards and forwards, you could do that as well. And you, then you don't have to flip flop. I like to flip flop the bracelet or, or the <clears throat> work I'm doing because I like to sort of stitch away from myself as I go along, but I can. Um, and it depends as well if um, who is sitting around you because if somebody is sitting sort of next to you, you don't really want to constantly stitch that way and um, it's, quite, it's kind of like a duct. So if somebody is sitting next to you on the table or like, you know, on the sofa anywhere, then, then we all stitch differently. But um, you don't have to flip flop it. If you want, you can keep it straight just like this as well. It's, it's what works for you really. We all, we all stitch differently. I mean, it's like, who's to say? When you're baking the cake, <laughs> are you are you whisking it left to right or right to left? You still get the same cake. <laughs> right, so I'm right down to the bottom. Add a couple more. So we've got three tops of dog. Love this one. It feels so nice when it's wearing it. Yeah, absolutely. And I have to say a special thank for Linda, Alison and Brenda to helping make up the little swatches. So I couldn't do without them making all of these little samples up. I'm so grateful. So grateful for the help. Right. Okay. So I think I may, maybe, maybe one more. We add one more. So because we've got one, two, three. Yeah. Maybe we add one more. I keep catching my thread on the side of my chair here. Right, there we go. So I'm going to add one more and then I'm going to grab some clasp and show you how to clasp it up. So just adding the seed beads when I can see pearls or crystals I'm always adding seed beads and then when I can only see seed beads I'm gonna add the pearls and the crystals so I need a crystal but all sorts of patterns you could do out with this one if you wanted to you could even sort of spell names out I guess or something any 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 shape you you pref you prefer or you like and um, you could do like sort of little diamonds as well Right, okay, so I'm just going to add the missing seed beads in because it's kind of half half finished like that. The seed bead has escaped. One, two, two seed beads in between. 
Yes, Linda, it wears very well. Ruth is saying, yeah, absolutely. Come listen, sing coffee, absolutely. Right, okay, so I'm gonna grab just a clasp for this. You tidied everything up. There they are. Tidied everything up last week. And <laughs> surprise, surprise. When you tidy things up, you can't find anything. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna use a, let's just use this one. I'm just going to use a toggle um, clasp here. Um, now you could you could do this bracelet and add a sliding clasp on it. You could do all sorts of different things. I sort of I like to flip flop between using toggles, using sliding clasp, using magnetic clasp, and all sort of like lobster clasps, all sorts of different clasps as well. So with a toggle clasp, what we need to create, we need to create a point. Um, where we're going to be connecting our toggles. If we had a side clasp, we may have two or three loops we need to connect to. In the toggle, we only need to connect to one loop. So what I really want to do is to kind of connect in the middle. But if I just connect in the middle, if I just come out of this pearl, connect and go back, then the bracelet can kind of like turn around because it's connected with one, um, one thread. If I... I'm just going to pop this down next to it. So if I come out before the pearl, go through the loop and go after the pearl, then that gives me, so this, this no longer is going to turn around. I'm going to have a nice and sort of the bracelet is going to sit just sort of flat on my wrist. So what we're going to do as I'm coming out of that crystal, I need to turn around and I either need to get that I'm coming out of this crystal or well, coming out of this pearl or the seed beads above it or the same here coming out of this crystal or the seed beads um, above it. Now, I don't really have to like, you know, you can follow any thread path you already created. So I usually just sort of go down and see how the fastest way I can get to the point I want to get. So which will be coming and coming out of these two seed beads. You could pick up any sort of little decoration here at the end. I'm just gonna do, let's say I do two seed beads. I'm gonna pick up a pearl. I'm gonna pick up, come on pearl, pearl, the pearl is rolling away. I'm gonna pick up three seed beads. One, two, three. I'm gonna go through a loop on the clasp. I'm gonna take this down. And I'm going to go back through the seed bead. You can add a couple of seed beads here to hide your thread if you like. So you could have like, you know, after you went up, instead of three, you could pick up five and then another two on the other side and then, then come back down into the middle one. Sometimes I like to add seed beads on the top. Sometimes I just like to keep it really tight with the thread as well. It, depending what color the thread is. If the thread is a very different color from my class. So for example, if I was using red thread, then I would have added a couple of extra seed beads on either side to cover the thread up. When the thread is a similar color to the class, then you can sort of go really close to the class. Right, another two seed beads and a crystal and then another two seed beads. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in that pearl. Pull this up. So I have got my little pattern there. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down to the end through the crystal and the seed beads because I kind of want to go back and I want to go through the thread path of the whole of the clasp there. So the clasp is connected to the pearl and it's connected to the seed beads at the bottom. But can you see it's like a little bit wonky. So how are we going to straighten it up? So we're going to come out through the crystal, then go up and around the clasp. And then we're going to come down on the other side. And into the two seed bead crystal, two seed beads. And this time, instead of going into the pearl, 
we're gonna go to this top two seed bead and towards the crystal just there so when I pull this up that's can you just see that just straighten that end up so it's nicely sitting at the end there okay so next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna show you how to add like a little decoration to the side you can leave it just like that if you wish you can leave it sort of plain clear edges straight edges but what I actually like to do is to add and I'm going to show you this one here I just add by adding a few beads to the side it's really softens that curves and you could add like sort of all you could add a different color seed beads there if you wanted to you could design so many different things with it sometimes sometimes I do that but sometimes I like to have the unity of the same color sort of going through the whole bracelet so as I'm coming out of that crystal all we're gonna do I'm gonna stitch down in the next two and I'm gonna stitch up in the next two seed beads so I just sort of went down and up in the same unit there I'm gonna pick up four seed beads I'm gonna jump over this pearl so I'm working on this very top row here jump over this pearl down into these two seed beads and up the next two and then picking up four again jumping over the crystal down into these two seed bead and up the next two that's it and I'm all the way down I'm just adding these little sort of loops to soften the side of my bracelet and you can do do that that's just some sad. now you can have some different variations you can add um, more or less seed beads in there make it more so if I came back on myself and I went into two seed beads and picked up an extra seed bead and then come back down and did the whole sort of reverse on my edging here then that would kind of give more of a, a peak wedge so you would have more of a pointy edge there's so many different things you can do right okay so good morning carol maria good morning 5 30 a.m in new york oh bless you thank you so much for watching us uh, watching us um really really appreciated like everybody just sort of turning up and watching us and and uh, just so great i love it so check out the website two for 20 pound today otherwise one kit is 11.99 and you do make two bracelets from every single kit um there so um, do check them out we got 17 colors <laughs> you got loads of colors i couldn't stop myself um going through all of these colors and, I, and I'm, I'm just sort of very bringing them in because the the threads are the end of the little swatches are kind of there but I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna pop them back because you've done so many different colors and i i just love all the different patterns what you can create with this one um many many different colors i love this fab fabric like structure what you can create with these um i think it's just really nice um they're just really nice i i could imagine doing something like a really big sheet of beadwork uh, with this technique because it's so pleasing to the eye but look we've got so many different colors any color you need we we have got it on the, don't forget the ice blue that's that's nice as well and the pink last but not least this little pink so i've got a nice little pile here but there's many many different colors right i better run my lovelies because i have to take lucy to dance she's got a dance lesson today i will be live tonight at 7 p.m so please join me on my channel which is kids robinson designs on youtube and i don't even know what we'll be playing with but we'll be playing with we were playing with something really good so everybody have a beautiful day and i see you very very soon bye